And welcome to your gold market update charts of the day and happy end of financial year. It is the 30th of June 2023. Max Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Market Team. Of course, we will get some market repositioning being the end of the quarter and at the end of the financial year, one would expect it on the ASX. Uh, but that aside, let's uh, have a look at what's come across the news today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. So we had a generally positive session on Wall Street overnight. Again, advances beaten decliners. Even with tech stocks pausing, we saw some buying into banks on stress test results, which came in probably better than expected and certainly didn't highlight any banking issues going forward compared to what we saw earlier in the year. Big data point today with the PCE data. US futures in a neutral in Asian session. Sorry to the upside as we record this. Asian markets are mixed, but better than they opened. ASX is near neutral at this stage, trading between neutral and around about 0.1% to the upside. European futures are pointing to a cautious but slightly positive open, and the VIX is still trading at three-year plus lows. US dollar index was strong overnight, uh, which pushed gold down to test 1900, which subsequently bounced. Copper did drop again for the seventh day straight of losses, breaching that key 375 level we've referenced earlier in the week, and all is trading mid-range. Bitcoin still trading between 30 and 31,000 in a short-term range, but does look as though it might test that 31,000 resistance today. As we said, the US year-on-year -year PCE data is the headline. We've also got Chinese PMI, in, which is important in light of recent data. Eurozone CPI, UK and Canadian GDP, German retail sales and US consumer sentiment make for a really busy day today. We've got a couple of charts of interest to show you today. The US yen is looking really interesting. We did actually test the key 145 level in today's session. You can see it made up to that and then it was selling almost immediately. We're looking perhaps at a 144.64 level of interest. If we breach through this, we could see it down to 144 pretty quickly. That level there at 144.12 will be a, an appropriate place to put some sort of profit target if you are thinking of giving this a try. On the ASX, we thought we'd relook at NWH. We made this a chart of the day yesterday, and you can see there it's breached that 250 level that we were thinking was potentially quite important with a move up possibly to around about this 271 level there. You can see that significant price move. We need a bit more volume on this. It'll be interesting to see what, what happens with this in the last hour. Uh, but we've potentially got a 7% move to the upside. Just an, a, again, a note of caution in terms of end of quarter repositioning. We could see this pull back. So best check in that last hour or so whether it is still over that 250 level.